Hi guys, this is Raymond from Tesla Offer. Today we are showing you how to install our newest soft tool store. So this is the kit and in the kit you can find a uh, full frame that is to hold the latch motor, we will show you later. So and at the same time you can see there are four uh, latch motor, uh, a bunch of wires, uh, we will teach you how to connect, um, and four door lock unit. Um, so that's basically the kit and uh, with some screws and, and caps, uh, where is it? Yeah, we'll show you later, oh it's here. Yeah, the screws and there's some rubber cap here. Yeah, so and there's some cover too. Uh, we'll show you how to connect. So let's get started. So now we are removing the door lock. Uh, these are hold by three T20 screws so just loosen them all and the rear door uh, the door lock is super easy to remove so because there's rear, there's the whole cavity is here you can just pull it out after you remove um, the screws after removing the OEM lock now we can install our own lock so to install that we need to attach the um, the latch motor to the lock unit so for the latch motor, for the rear door, you need to have the shorter one. Also try to look for the shorter cable. There's a longer cable and shorter cable. We use the shorter cable. And this, are the frame, this is the frame that we use for, for, the, uh, for the rear door. So they are identical, left and right for, for, the, for the rear door. So now let's try to attach this thing to the lock first. To attach it, I just uh, use my finger to pull this out and then attach the latch motor here yeah after that I will put it here secure it and then I will install this cover back into here yeah like this so this orange wire doesn't have any use so you can cut it uh, or just leave it here and now um, we will try to insert the rubber cap. I already inserted two, and this is how you insert it. So, I just insert this thing. After that, we can attach the motor into like this. We just slide it in, slide it in. So this is how you do the install before putting it on the door. So now we will we'll attach this later. So let's get to the door. This is the uh, power. This is the ground. We will connect it later. So this is uh, two connectors here. Uh, the gray side goes into the latch motor. The black side goes into the lock. So let's try to attach it to the lock first. So just connect it and make sure it clicks. And then you can press here to lock it yeah and here this one is for the OEM connector so the OEM connector is here we also suggest you to connect it first before putting it in so let's try to connect it Oops. it's the same uh, just click and lock yeah and then now we can put the connect uh, put the door lock uh, and install it so this one we set it here first and then we will do the install later so the OEM uh, connector goes directly in here but if you uh, install the door handle uh, you will need to connect it to the uh, splitter cable to from the door handle first and then plug it into here yeah but the idea is the same and then here we uh, put uh, run the emergency pull wire here the yeah where you remove the OEM one so just try to secure it here yeah now we need to remove this two wire holder so I already removed one the key is there's like two two thing two place you can push and then pull so you just press it the same time and then you can pull it out so let me try this one so So then, now we can install the holder here. 
So then uh, remove the double sided tape behind and then we can set it here. So set it behind here and then we can use the screw provided to tighten it here. Let me try to set the place first and here. I'll set the screw here also. Oops. It's okay. Now we have secured this and then we just connect the remaining connector. So just press and lock. So now basically this one you can just uh, wrap it around here or just uh, cut it out. Yeah, it doesn't have any use right now. Then we just put this back in here here and this one and here we just connect to the power and ground uh, when we wire the power and ground to the door now we are doing the front door um, the front door uh, the motor though this wire is longer so we will try to teach you how to um, um, set this first you can see there's two holes that actually correspond to the two holes below the rubber room right here is this one you can see these are the two one and two yeah so this two so uh, let's try to slide it in first um, so for pe some people they, they can remove this thing to to make it easier to assess uh, but I, I just uh, personally like to do it with this install. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to spend uh, too much time to to remove something uh, that I don't really need to. So I first slide this in. Oh yeah, you need to also um, remove this uh, cable holder as well. This one. So just unplug this, and this is where we we'll set a screw over here. Yeah. Let me put it here. Yes. After I put it here, I can try to set my motor first. So this is how you set the motor. So this is the long wire. And so that means I need to set it like this. So let me set it first. So I slide in here. I slide in on the other side now you can see I already set the two hole into the screws so you don't need to loosen any screws over there you don't need to tighten anything over there and then that's it uh, for the motor so here uh, I run this wire to the back along with the OEM cable yeah, so I just run it, run it, run it. And I will set the screws here. So make sure this plate go behind the hole. So like this. And then now I can set my screw here. And then put the cable holder on the hole underneath. Yeah. So we have set the screw here. Uh, if you don't remove this one, we suggest you to use some short wrench to, to tighten it. And then now we can set the cable holder back into this little hole here. Yeah, so like this. And then, and then now, uh, we grab our long wire here and attach it to the to the door lock uh, in here. Yeah, pull it out and then attach the wire. Hold on. Let me grab it with one. Yeah, thank you. So now hook it in. And then set it on the channel. And then slide in the cover in here and then just click it. Now uh, we already uh, installed this cable uh, to the, to the uh, uh, down at bottom of the door lock in it. The next thing we need to connect the OEM cable but uh, right now we also have the door handle installed. 
So for the door handle, you contain a splitter wire. So we will connect the splitter wire in, instead. So we connect this into here. And the OEM connector, which should be here, we connect it to here. Yeah. Lock it. And then we will install the door lock unit. Yeah. We just slide this in. Uh, we slide in an angle such that it can go inside. So it requires a special angle to go in. Yeah. Like this. And then we can just install the lock. So align here. And then set back the OEM screw into 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 here. Yeah. After we install the lock, uh, we can run the wire uh, back to the front. So this one is the door lock, and this one is the handle. So uh, for the handle, uh, we can set this here. This is for the control unit, and we run the remaining to the front. So so I will just follow the OEM wire. <laughs> And then we will zip tie along the OEM wire as well. So we will go to here. Here we connect this one to the mesh motor. So the motor one. So click and lock. Yeah. And here uh, we haven't run the wire into here yet, but we will connect the power and ground here. So for the door handle, uh, you can share the same power and ground. Uh, so you can run two power and two ground into the door or you can splice it inside uh, When you run the run a single power and ground and then you splice it here. Yeah, so either way will be will be fine. Yeah So now basically uh, everything is installed. Uh, let me show you how the wire is set up So here you can see we tie as do some cable tie along this OEM wire to the front in the front, we connect the power and ground here, and we set it here. Um, so that's basically the setup. And going back to here, here is very important. Um, so you can see from above, here, you can see, here need to be clear, yeah. So we don't want any wire here because the windows will go down and then we'll, uh, the wire will block it. So we set everything in the back and cable tied it, you see we tied it here, we tied some more here. So just do it like this, all the wire go, go in here and then it will not block the window. Of course, after that, we will uh, reinstall the window and then we will try to test again, see if there's any blockage. So now we are ready to test the door. Um, so to test the door, you need to connect the LED lights here first. You can get this from the bottom of your door panel. You need to connect it, yeah. So right now we can see that the door is open, which is good. Uh, and then we can test it with a screwdriver. Just push it slightly until it half click and see if it locks. Yeah, locks and the door shows closed. Let me try again. Use the handle to unlock it and then test it again. Let me push it. Don't push all the way. Let it try to move. Yeah, and lock. Yeah. So it's working, so try to use the handle to unlock it again. So that means the, the door is working. So we can also try to do a closing and see if it works. So it works perfectly. And then now we can install the window and everything back for this door.